Hi there, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative and we're going through a series of videos to talk about the power of custom objects in HubSpot and how you can create custom objects to fit your business and fit HubSpot around your business instead of the other way around. So today we're talking about a service object. Now, service object is something that you could confuse with a ticket object using HubSpot Service Hub. Not the same thing. A ticket is more of a support related instance where a service object is focused much more on servicing the actual client, whether you're a consulting company or you're onboarding a customer um, with a product based service. And you're going to be able to take them from the deal stage that was won all the way through to success, whatever that looks like. That engagement is super, super important. And in a lot of cases, in customer success scenarios, that engagement also is very intentional. And so in HubSpot, historically, you've not been able to do anything between the deal and the ticket. It was a very reactive process. And now you can focus on the service object. So think about all the different places the consumer has to go. Think about all the different things that your internal team has to do in order to keep up to date with the contact. And think about your database from a marketing perspective. How many different lines of business do you offer? How many different types of, of content do you create? What types of things make, relevant, make things relevant to existing customers versus not? Right now, with how you've got HubSpot set up, odds are that the information that is available within your CRM is very one dimensional. It's a company or a contact, whether they have a deal and they're a customer, or whether they have a particular customer type but it becomes really hard if you have multiple facets of your business to really automate well and deliver on the service, but also from a marketing perspective to really able, be able to double down on what people have purchased. And that is where the service object comes in. Your customer service teams can implement and execute essentially on a staged view of what information is necessary for the customer. On the flip side, the marketing and sales teams can focus on a list of customers who have a certain type of service. Reporting can be done on those individual services in regards to the status of them. And marketing can start to automate based on cross-sell, upsell opportunities based on the open services that are there. But what happens when a customer no longer needs your services? In theory, if your CRM is built out the right way, they'd move to a not active status any longer. But in a lot of cases, companies rely on just a single lifecycle stage field in HubSpot, either at the contact level or the company level. And so now what you can do is you can create this service object and the service object allows for you to keep track of all that, you could have multiple facets, you could have an individual service owner on your success team, and you are going to be able to drive immense amount of value for your entire organization and at the same time be streamlining the processes necessary to serve that client and delight them. So if you have questions about how to set up a service object, please feel free to reach out to the team at Impulse Creative and we can help you out building out this customer experience platform of your dreams. Talk soon.